one of the most insidious, insidious, I don't know how to pronounce it. Insidious. Things that you can do in a relationship is lie. Every time your partner lies to you or you lie to them, it puts this veil between you and them. It puts a wall. Unless you're very empathetic, it can be very imperceptible. So one of the things that you can notice is that the more you can be truthful on like the very fundamental level with your partner, the closer that you'll be. A lot of people ask why does your wife like look up to you so much and like love everything about you and stuff and then you guys don't have any of these issues you don't have like arguments and you're not trying to blame each other because we're very honest with each other we call it the microscopic truth or like the way of candor so in other words as you're talking and you're talking to her and you express how you feel on a deep level and not blame her for it but being able to express it then she can then respond to that in the way that she feels is necessary and acknowledging it so like Intimacy is built through the acknowledgement of each other, the revealing of yourself, of your innermost whatever that happens to be, and the other person accepting it. That's what causes intimacy. That's what brings you closer together. For instance, like you'll be on a date and you say, hey, I like to do this. And the other person's like, well, I like doing that too, right? All of a sudden, intimacy has been created. Or, hey, I felt really vulnerable about this. And the other person's like, oh, that's no problem. I feel that way too a lot of the time. And you're like, oh, wow, you feel closer. That bond has gotten closer. This is why, you know, after a fight, you usually come back together and you're not fighting anymore, you're apologizing, and that's why you have great sexy time. So anytime lying happens, you're creating a wall. So if you're in a relationship where your partner's lying to you all the time and you're trying to connect with them and they just keep lying, 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 and you try to call them out on their lies and then they just get mad at you and gaslight you and shame you and guilt you, twist your words around, try to deflect it, make it about you, blame you for it, and it's always about them, just realize that you're never gonna have the intimate relationship that you've desired. It's just not gonna happen. You're not gonna turn her around. You're not gonna go and convince her. Counseling's not gonna work for you. The best thing that you can do is be with a partner that actually values and cares about you fundamentally. If you'd like to know more about this, my name's Ed Baxter, and you can find me at genuineattraction.com.